Let's go. Let's get it, man. It's Monday morning. Marvelous Monday. Let's go. I'm working on that shirt thing, Jeff. I could have swore I posted it up there, man. Uh-oh. I could have swore I, post I posted it up there, but for some reason, for some reason, it ain't shown. I lost power, to be honest with you. Yeah, so let me see. We're going to check in on it. We're going to check in on it real quick, right? Real quick, right? Ew. Real quick, like, real quick, like. Let's go right here. Yeah, I could have swore it was right there. But, uh, we definitely going to get it up there. There was supposed to be two versions of it. <laughs> Y'all, good morning. Let's go. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Marvelous Monday. Huh? Marvelous Monday. Marvelous Monday. I'm trying to find this track. There we go. Yeah, Marvelous Monday, man. We, we ain't even running behind. We just have a few little technical difficulties. I was looking to see if the... Um, if the if the if the shirt that I posted was up there, because John said he didn't. <laughs> Dion, what's good, bro? John said he didn't see it on the uh, app, on the uh, website. So I don't know. I'll figure it out, or we'll just do it again. I don't know. Day to day, I'm getting more resilient. You know, day to day, I'm getting more resilient. Like to just. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Most definitely. So we're going to definitely try to make it available for you, man. I thought I had, had it up there. Over shoulder looking and I'm walking fast. Back on. Resilience. Yeah. It's crazy. Red district, red out here, Martin. So it seems to be torn. Yeah. I'm stargazing. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, I'm man. Y'all mind if I get right to it, man? I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna get right to it, man. So I watched this movie yesterday, and it was called uh, Brimstone. Yeah, Resilience. Resilience. Good morning, Yolanda. The name of the movie was called Brimstone. Oh, Teresa has a new grandbaby. Okay, so we will be praying for them. There's some minor issues there. Congratulations, and, and we'll definitely lift you up in our prayers, man. Y'all let it rip for Teresa and the new grandchild, most definitely. So I was watching this, this movie, and it was called Tombstone. I don't know, it was called Brimstone, Brimstone, Brimstone. And there was this young lady in this movie, and when I tell you that this lady went through some of the most vile, harsh conditions and situations that you could possibly ever imagine in life. But she some way, somehow found a way to begin a new chapter of her life. <laughs> some way, form or fashion. The resilience of this poor child was, 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 it was mind blowing. I know it was a movie, but it was definitely mind blowing how she just continued to yeah, from the moment she was a child, this baby struggled and fought. Actually, she was she was she was robbed of her childhood by the time she was 11 or 12 years old. And she continued to find a way to start over. She continued to find a way to 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 reset the balance so that she could try it again. You know, to 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 line the pieces back on the board and let's start over all over again. Reline them up and let's play again. It's your move. 
And I was blown away by the resilience of this young of this young child, this young character, because it was a character. The character was played by Dakota Fanning. And uh, the it was it was just the resilience that touched me. This won't be no super crazy one, y'all. Oh, I gotta get I got some stuff I have to do. But that spoke to me. And I believe that in this book that I'm reading, there was a guy who was three feet from gold. They, it was this, 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 um, a guy, where was he from? I forgot where he was from, but he ended up going to say, he was from Colorado, he was from Colorado and he ended up going to San Francisco because of the, 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 the gold that was taking place. This is way back in the day. And they dug and they dug and they dug. It was him and a couple of his uh, in-laws and stuff. They all pitched in the money to get this equipment and they dug for that gold and they dug for that gold. And then one day they finally got a little sprink a little sprinkle. Then the next day they got a little bit more and then they were following this vein uh, of gold and then finally it ran dry. It ran dry, but they're not gold miners and they don't know how, how these veins of this gold will, will, will like turn off track and you gotta keep tracking it. And he finally dug one more day and he finally got to the point where he was like, you know what, I'm done. He, he, he sold the equipment to, the, to, to one of the people in the nearby town. Let them know, hey, we were digging up here. We couldn't find anything. It finally drowned up, dried up. And all we're trying to do right now is sell this equipment to try to recoup as much money as we possibly can. And then we're going to go back to Colorado or wherever they were from. They sold the equipment to this guy. Uh, the guy bought the equipment. The man who, who was the, the head of the operation, he paid back his in-laws the money that he had bought for them to, 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 to uh, finance this extravaganza. And then ultimately, the guy who he sold the equipment to, looked, he, he gave him the maps and everything. And so he looked into it and he realized that they were three feet away. So he called up another guy and was like, hey, is these, are these calculations right? He says, yeah. He says, they just needed to go three more feet. Ultimately, the man who bought the equipment, he, bought, he invested in some other guys that came in, they dug, boom, hundreds of millions of dollars later, and the guy from Colorado understood that he said the lesson that he learned is that he got three feet from gold. Three feet. That's technically two steps. Two steps away from gold. And I believe that a lot of times in our lives, we give up when we're three steps from gold. We're afraid to push forward just a tad bit more to hang on just a little bit longer, to persevere just a short while longer, and you're three feet. You're three feet from the promised land, ultimately. Three feet. And so the resilience of that character that Fanning, that Dakota Fanning played in the movie Brimstone, it spoke to my heart, man. It spoke to my heart. It spoke to my heart about not only myself, but about my career. It spoke to my heart about my family members and loved ones because I've seen, my, I've witnessed my friends and my family members give up and uh, quit. I have given up and quit at times. Do I believe that there's a right time to kind of throw in the towel on some things? Yeah, I do. I do. I wish I had somebody to talk to about that this morning, a co-host about that. Because, yeah, I mean, it's just, you got to, when do you decide to throw in the towel on something, you know? And when do you when do you decide to hang on? I appreciate that love, Miss Westmoreland. Yeah. When do you when do you tell yourself, okay, enough is enough. This is not going anywhere. Or maybe I need to let this go. And when do you continue to press forward? It's a tricks a thin line, very thin, very very thin line, very thin line. And then I guess that's when no, that's when God comes in, and you have to pray for discernment discretion, understanding, wisdom, guidance. <clears throat> Keelan, I don't know if that's you or not, man, but if it is, man, I appreciate you joining me. Let me just say Because ultimately, that's the stuff that'll help you make that decision. Michael Moore, good morning. Those are the things that'll help you make that decision is after you, you have to get to a point to where you're asking God, okay, God, what do I do right here at this point in time? Do I hang on to this or do I let this go? Do I start a new season or do I keep digging in? You know? 
it's a question that you have to ask yourself daily. And, and, and so you pray for God's discernment. You pray for God's spirit to guide you in those things. He'll guide you in those things. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, he'll guide you in those things. It's something that 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 that, that we have to have. But as I was speaking of the, the resilience of this young lady, man, the character that, that Dakota played was phenomenal, man. And I think that we have to dig into that. We have to get to a point to where with the discretion of God and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you have to get to a point to where you know when it's time to just dig your heels in, dig your toes in the ground, and just keep pressing forward. The promised land can be three feet away from you, man. Three feet. Could be three feet if you just hold on a little bit longer. If you just hang in there a little while longer. If you just hang in there. And I believe and I know for a fact that this discretion of God, the discretion of the Holy Spirit, the prompting, the guiding, the leading, huh? Of the Holy Spirit of God will let you know exactly when to when to bunker in and when to pull up <laughs> and get out of town. I trust that with my whole heart. I believe that wholeheartedly. I do. I wanted to share that with you guys because that was what's on my heart this morning. You know, the resilience. She continued to find a way to start over. She continued to find a way to start anew. The word of God says for, behold, all things, the old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's the scripture. That ain't Jay. That ain't man talk right there. That's the word of God right there. That's the, yeah, let that rip. Let that rip. That's the word of God. It's the word of the almighty, all-knowing, ancient of days. Behold, all things have become new. Mm. It's amazing when you, all things, yeah, you're right, Lord. Y'all let that rip, yeah, all things. It's amazing what you can do when you wrap your mind around the word of God. It's amazing how life will change for you when you wrap your mind around the word of God. You feed yourself the word of God, listening to the word of God, trusting in the word of God. Things around you will change. I'm evident of it, I promise you. From the way that you behave to the way that you speak, financial, spiritual, health, things will change. They will yeah, see, you got to realize that the word of God is life. And so no matter where the word of God is, for one, there's freedom. And for two, there's life. And so whatever situation you find yourself in, when you add the word of God to it, you're technically literally breathing life into your situation, period. You're breathing life into your situation. That's just what the word of God does. <laughs> In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and nothing was was <laughs> nothing that 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 was made is made without the word of God. All answers are in the word of God, period. Hands down. I concur. Yeah. Amen. Y'all let that rip. Michael Moore. All answers are in the word of God. <laughs> let that rip. I believe that, bro. Seriously, wholeheartedly. I do. I believe that we have to scour sometimes to find it, but there's nothing like doing a little digging. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a little dirt under your nails. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Shantae. Get a little dirt on your nails. And then they got it. It's so, it's so caught up. The, the, see, what happens is this. God has put us in a situation where, you know, we could use the same technology. The same technology that people use for evil, we could use for good. Hey, um, Siri, find scripture on loneliness. Find scripture on brokenheartedness. Find scripture on depression. Boop, 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 boop. God, he did that for a reason. He right there with him. Same way you can ask Siri to look up some old other crazy stuff for you. <laughs> you could be asking her to look up some different things for you, you know? We just asking her to look up what, what we asking her to look up, opposed to what we need to be asking her to look up, to continue to strengthen this resilience and this resolve that will get us through whatever crises we find ourselves in. He's there. Get a little dirt under your nails. It's fine. It's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. And then honestly, you don't really have to do no whole bunch of work. It's all at the tip of your tongue. Hey, will you look up such and such and such and such? It's just up to you. It's, it's up to what you're looking for. You have to ask you what you're looking for. 
Now, if you look up, hey, I want to get over this by doing whatever, whatever, that's what you're going to get. I've been there, so I know I can speak on that. Ask me how I know. I'm not beating up on nobody or picking on nobody, but ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know that you will run to some substances or some things to try to numb or dull or, 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 or comfort whatever it is that you're going through at the time, opposed to trying to find something that will strengthen your resolve. Ask me how I know. I'm not talking to you from a, uh, to a, from a position of ignorance. No, I'm talking to you from a position, a position of experience. <laughs> yeah, not ignorance, but experience. Yeah, I have ran and searched down some things and tried to comfort myself with some things that I should not have. Psalms. I will hide thy word in my heart that I may not sin against you. That's, that's one of my favorite ones right there, uh, Jeff. Let that rip. Yeah. So we just have to choose what we run to, what we hide to, and, and, and ask God for that, for that strength and that resilience. <laughs> right? Deidre says, Alexa, play too, too far. I've been there too. <laughs> I've been there too, so I understand. So I, I definitely understand. We just have to find, we just have to continue to ask God for the resolve. Because there's going to be some times that we're going to have to start things over. There's going to be some times where we're going to have to find out when we need to just stand still in the strength and the power of God. Experience, Yolanda. And we're going to have to ask God for discretion and the, and the prompting and the guiding of the Holy Spirit of God so we'll know when to do what. Don't get it twisted in that baby's life, in that, in that, in that, in that character's life. There were some long stretches where she had to start over and she was in this spot right here for a long stretch until she found the opportune time to do something different, to change that situation, and then she changed it. Yeah, sometimes you got to sit still in the situation for a little bit until the opportune time comes up and then you do something to change that, that your surroundings and you ask God for the strength and the resolve to do so and then you go. I'm talking about this baby was she man. That's a hard. It was a hard movie to watch. To be honest with you, it was a hard movie to watch. Who was that doing the great work? God bless you. God bless you, Michael. Thank you for joining the morning cup of coffee. Y'all welcome, Michael, to the morning cup of coffee, man. I'm not sure if he's ever been on here before, but y'all give him a warm welcome. Thank you for coming in. Uh, James, what's up, buddy? <laughs> James, show me some love, man. I ain't seen you guys in so. There you go, buddy. I love you too, brother, man. I ain't seen you in I don't know how long, man. We need to hook up, man. We need to definitely link up. How's my boy doing? How's my boy doing? Oh, uh, good friend of mine right there, James, man. Y'all welcome James Wilsford to the, to the morning cup of coffee as well, man. That's a very good friend of mine. He supported my career for a long time. I want to thank everybody that supports my career, man. I want to thank you and I want to praise you. I want to celebrate you on today. Uh, please go to the uh, website. We've got some more uh, dates put up there for shows that you guys can come to. I swore I had that, that Faith Over Fear t-shirt up there. I, I, I don't know. I, I swore I had it up there. And I just don't know. Uh, I just don't know what to do. I could have swore I had it up there. And I'll try it again maybe today if I get the time to try to put it up there. But I thought I had it up there. Uh, if not, I'll work on it, try to get it up there for you guys. I want it up there as well because I kind of want to get me one. Uh, there was one that Andrew, he didn't like. I kind of like it. It's black, has a white box, and it just has it in there. Real simplicity, but I kind of like it, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, uh, outside of that, man, thank you for all your prayers, all your support. I love you. Thank you for joining in on the Morning Cup of Coffee every Monday through Friday at 6.30 a.m. Uh, I'm thinking about scaling those days back. I'm thinking honestly about maybe going to three days a week and I'll let you guys know what decision I make when it comes to that. That's something that I've definitely been, been thinking about over the last few weeks is um, just bringing it back maybe to about maybe about three days a week, like a Monday, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing, something like that uh, to create some more space for me to get to get more creative with the things that I'm doing. Things good. Hey, just get just tap in with me, James. Yeah, just to get more creative with with um with our content, man. To get more creative with our content, maybe go some different places. And so I've been thinking about doing that, and I believe that it'll be a lot easier to accomplish that if we do this three days a week, opposed to Fridays. I mean Monday through Friday. Um, that's something that I'm gonna go over with my media guy today. I'll talk to Evan later on today, and then we'll um 
We'll put a post up and let you guys know exactly what we're doing it, where we're doing it, and how we're getting it done. Uh, follow us on, on on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Definitely tap in with us. Uh, if you haven't heard of the Cussing Christians, please go check those boys out. Um, on this day, do something very good for someone. Remember that God loves you as well as I do, and it's easy. Just put God first.